Many homeowners thinking about selling have two key things holding them back. Feeling locked in by today's higher mortgage rates and worrying that they won't be able to find something to buy while supply is so low. Let's dive into each challenge and give you some helpful advice on how to overcome these obstacles. The first fear is taking on a higher mortgage rate. According to the Federal Housing Finance Agency, or the FHFA, the average interest rate for current homeowners with mortgages is less than 4%. But today, the typical 30-year mortgage rate offered to buyers is closer to 7%. As a result, many homeowners are opting to stay put instead of moving into another home with a higher borrowing cost. And this situation is known as the mortgage rate lock-in effect. While experts project that mortgage rates will gradually fall this year as inflation cools, that doesn't necessarily mean that you should wait to sell. Mortgage rates are notoriously hard to predict. If you move now, you'll at least beat rising home prices when you buy your next home. And if experts are right and rates fall, you can always refinance later if that happens. Like I always say, date the rate marry the house. The second fear is not finding something to buy. Even though you know that this limited housing supply helps your house stand out to eager buyers, it may also make you feel hesitant because when you sell your house, you don't want to struggle to find something to purchase. When so many homeowners are reluctant to take on a higher interest rate, fewer homes are going on to the market. That's going to keep inventory low. If fear is the primary thing holding you back, remember to consider all of your options. Look at all the housing types, including condos and townhouses and even newly built homes. These can all give you more options. Plus, if you're able to work fully remote or hybrid, you may be able to consider areas you hadn't previously searched. If you can look further from your place of work, you may have some more affordable options. So instead of focusing on the challenges, focus on what you can control.